Hi, my name is Joe. Should we use the wire or Wi-Fi to set up network? I always recommend to use the wire if wiring the cable from point A to point B is possible. Why? Because the wire solution provides much more stable and reliable connection than Wi-Fi. Let's say some kind of application like the IP camera system, they always have the data peak. What's the data peak? If there's nothing changed in the image, the data rate will become very low because the advanced compression like the H.265 make the data very low. But once the object like the car or the people walk into the scene, the data will jump up sharply. So it will create the impact to your wireless connection. But for the wire, they don't have this kind of problem. The bandwidth like the 100 per megabyte per second will be stable. But in some of the application, wiring the cable from point A to point B is impossible. In this case, we still can use the Wi-Fi and also say wireless bridge. First, let's walk to the whiteboard and see what is the real situation we have now. Here's the real situation. The customer wants to install some of the camera on the opposite of the lake and he's going to use the MV at the house. There's about 2,500 feet between the house and the opposite of the lake. It's very difficult for him to wire the cable. He cannot use the K5U K6 because it's only limited to about 300 feet. Even if he's going to use the PoE standard, it still cannot reach about 2,500 feet. Fiber optic cable could be the solution, but it will be a lot of job, especially during the connector of the fiber optic cable. So the wireless bridge could be the solution. Usually the wireless bridge working in pair. Now let's walk into the workshop and see how to set up put two wireless bridge to set up the network link. These two are the wireless bridge we mentioned. You can see they're facing to each other, which means the Wi-Fi signal is directional. So the first rule to use the wireless bridge, you need to make sure there's no it's the open area, there's no tree or wall blocking the transmission and receive it. Otherwise you don't get the good result. The camera is connecting to the first bridge and then it's just switch the signal back to the second one and you can see the live video on the MVR. And to use this wireless bridge is quite simple. The first thing is you need to power up the bridge for both ends. You can either use the DC tail voltage or PoE. But I just want to tell you the PoE is not the standard PoE. You need to use the passive PoE injector like this one. The second thing you need to do is you need to switch the master and slate. After you power up the wireless bridge, now you need to set the master or slate. You must set one for slate and the another for master. If you just have one pair of wireless bridge, it doesn't matter which one to be the master. However, if you have multiple camera you want to send back, you're using multiple wireless bridge, you only can have one master which you need to stay just next to the router and receive the data from different slate. And after you set up the master and slave, now you need to configure the channel. Once we power up, you should see this indicator will be on, it will show in what is the channel this one is staying and you need to make sure both all the wireless bridge stay in the same channel and you can push this button to ch the channel will be jumping so it's quite easy and the last thing is about the line up to getting the good connection and here you got the indicator it will tell you whether they have a good connection or not, not. now you see all the indicators on that means both wireless bridge and uh, having the very strong connection and about the configuration, actually, if you don't want, you don't need to configure anything. The wireless bridge have the subnet. They will allow the, the two to com communicate with each other. And they have another network, which allow you to just send in the signal. Let's say it's, it's something like that. You, they have two paths. One path, they will just running the protocol to make sure they're working together, which you don't need to get involved if, the, if you don't want. And they have another row which will allow you to pass all the data from the camera to the, to the switch or even internet accessing. So basically you just need to plug and play, push something that will be working. Alright, that's all for today's video. If you have any question about the wireless bridge, please leave your comment section below. See you next time.